Benedetto, De Benedetto. No. And everybody. Good. Oh, Great. no. This is big. Wow. All right, inside. Check up, check up, check up, check up, check up. Got to spin it here, spin it. It's the 17th of February, looking way too much like the 4th of July. Hey, Fireworks everywhere. Mike Joyce said it, fire works like the 4th of July. Does it hurt a little bit watching those clips? Those Jamie? are deflating. But I will say that when you're in a wreck at a, a super speedway track, typically they don't hurt because everyone is just kind of spinning together and you do hit the wall, but they're not huge impacts like blowing a tire like a Dover somewhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is deflating because you know that everyone's race is over. Right is there a game plan, though, to avoid being in the big one? Uh, I mean, the only game plan is to not be in the pack. Uh, Ryan Newman is notorious for riding around in the back um, and, you know, from the majority of the race. Um, but when, when that's going on, I mean, I've been in the races when you're just positive they're all going to wreck because they're bouncing off each other, and it never happens. And then you look back at the clash last year with Jimmy and Paul Menard, the two first and second place wrecked and, and collected the whole field. So there's really no safe place unless you're like a half lap behind. Anything predictable in these types of races? Yeah, they happen on the straightaway. Yeah, well, that's crazy. Oh, that, yeah, that, you know, yeah. probably 70 percent of the wrecks happen on the straightaway going down the backstretch. But, you know, I, I think as a crew chief, you want to re keep reminding your driver there's no reason to run in the back of the pack 20th. If you can't get your way to the front, fall back, fall back to the Ryan Newman group half, half a straightaway behind. There's no reason that lap 50 of the Daytona 500, if you can't get stage points, to be in the middle of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's, is, that, is that the way you plan it? Yeah, and I mean, it's, it, when stage racing came along, it changed it even more because you knew there was going to be a caution. And we've seen a lot of wrecks happen right at the yeah. end of stages. Yeah. So if you're not going to be able to get any stage points, you really are better off to just back off and, and, you know, not hope those guys wreck. But if they do, make sure you're not a part of it. Is there ever a time when you go into a, a race like a Daytona 500 and have confidence realizing all of the, the unpredictability that comes with that style of racing? Well, it comes in waves. When you see guys that are successful at play tracks, it seems like they'll have four or five races where everything goes their way. And then you have a few races where nothing goes your way. So I think you're confident when you've run well the last two or three. Um, at the same time, you know that's coming to an end. So you just never know when it's going to stop. What can you do to help your driver have more confidence on the racetrack during this race? You know, I, I think you, you get him onto the racetrack early in the week and build his confidence that way. You know, I think the race car driver has to be confident that they're, they're in the, going into the Daytona 500, that, that they have a chance to win the race. And getting him on the race track, track early, having a good 150, builds that confidence, and, and that's what you need to win the 500. You also need to be there at the end. Yeah. That's the most important thing. That's the thing. most right. important part, most yeah. important